Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Daydreams. Uh, I was just getting hit, so I just threw on the recorder real quick. Sorry it was so loud right there. So, we're getting hit here in Immortal Conquest right now. My bad. And... Okay, his troops are returning home. I hope I didn't get smashed. Let's take a look at the report. Wrong one. There we go. Hopefully, we didn't get smashed. Oh, we got a victory against him. Nice. So, you can see we lost all these times earlier, guys. So, what I did... He was sending his troops at me, and um, you can see his, uh, this was his not, this march wasn't his, like, really good march. You can see down here he's got a march with, uh, you can see the 4897, and you can see I'm defending with, like, 520 there. I was defending with 1600 there. Guys, I'm starting to learn the game a little bit more. I've been getting a lot of tips from a lot of you guys, so, you know, this was a really good learning server. I thought this would have been the server that I really learned and, like, excelled in. But instead, this is the server that I'm learning more in. Like, you know, if I go to my main city here, and I go to my to my troops, let's just click on these. So you can see all the troops here. Like, I didn't know there were even different troop types. You can see the little, like, the sword by some of them, the horse by some of them, and the archer by some of them. So, I didn't know there was different troop types. I just thought they were, you know, heroes like this. And then, I didn't know that you could, like, break down the cards. I didn't know about the skills. I didn't know about a lot of these things. So I'm thinking... And let me know what you guys think of this. Should we go to a new server in Immortal Conquest? Now, I hate switching up servers a lot, guys, because some people, you know, spend in on these servers. But, you know, we didn't have a big group that came to this one. So I don't know if anyone went too crazy. And I don't see anyone with too big of castles. Uh, Prodigy might have, but he's a savage. I think he'd be all right. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think about going to a new server in Immortal Conquest. Because right now, guys, where I am on the map, I don't want to give up all my... Because I'm pretty sure if you move, you got to give up your territory. And I have a um, pretty decent amount of territory. And then I'm just surrounded by enemies like this dude here. And look how he, like, he doesn't even care about these little plots. He was able to go straight for the big boys. All level 4 plots. Like, you know, he was going straight for level 4 plots. The biggest I've ever even taking, taken is a level 3. And look, he's in the Reapers as well. The Reapers Alliance is just running the Nordic region up here in Ireland in Immortal Conquest. So, we've got to figure out what we're going to do when the next ser global server opens up, where we should teleport to, and I'm going to make sure to get some gems this time, because I, I, I was completely free to play this time. I was going to try it free to play, which is fine, and you know, if I had to put in more effort, I think this game is better than any for free to play players. It really is. You get, like, you know, you go to the summons, look, you get a free chance every day um, for a, a gyro card. And like right there, I got a level 12, uh, three star. Nothing great, but it's something. And you can always break them down and everything. Like you can see the skills here. You can see to activate, you need that. And look, I can learn the skill already. So I need to learn skills on my bigger troops though. So if you guys can help me, please do. Cause like I said, I'm not, I'm not great at the game yet. But you know, I took decent amount of territory. It's just not that high level. Like I got some level threes and stuff, but that other guy down here. He's taking all level 4s, and, you know, he might even be taking level 5s by now. Is that a level 5? Yeah, he took... No, he didn't take it. He took level 4s. So, he's taking level 4s, and you've got to have territory touching to attack someone. So, they were using, like, a fort up here somewhere. Is that the fort they were using? Yeah, they were using this fort, Brown Eye. So, they put they put forts by you. That way they can... Um, I believe it may, allows you to get there faster. So, you can see, look, Shadow Fort and Ghost Fort. My allies are here, and they have forts here to help me. So, it's a really cool game, guys. And I really didn't know how cool this game was when I started playing it. But, like, just like with these forts and stuff, it's all so different. And I think I'm starting to really like it and get the hang of it. So, I want to be really competitive next time. Like, this time I was just like, I'm just going to enjoy the experience. I'm not going to take it too seriously like I have other games. But this time I think we can really win. I really do. So, let me know what you guys think about going to a new server. Man, um, there's just so much to learn, like, and I gotta keep doing quests because they were saying that quests, um, quests are important. Look, 100 gems right there. That's really good for a free-to-play. You know, I just sped up my, I just instant built my level 7 government hall for, like, 20 gems or something. It was crazy. So next time, guys, tell me what, like, I think stone is, like, the most important resource early on. That's why I got the 13. It just felt like I always needed stone. I was always short stone to get my government hall. But now I can finally do the barracks, front barracks. That way I can have, that's three troops in the row, right guys? You guys know what I'm talking about. But I really want to get deep into the game. So if you can help me, please do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Team Rick's Network, smash the thumbs up button. And let me know if you want to get a new server. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.